Hi, productivity. How productive are you? Do you get home at, at the end of the end of the day and, and feel that you know you've only half achieved uh, what you set out to do? You you had every intention of going out there and really getting focused in terms of what it is that you you wanted to do, but you've come back and you know frustrated and not actually having achieved nearly as much as you intended. Um, it is really a focus for so, so many people in terms of not being very productive in their lives, in their business, in their pursuits. Um, I want to share with you um, over the coming uh, days, uh, Brenda Burchard um, uh, from, the, from the US. He has what's called the 5 times 50 productivity formula. Um, and I'm going to take you through that over this week. Uh, and my challenge to you is to, you know, as we start to talk and uncover these particular areas, is start to really take a view on them and, and, and put them into play and see what happens. And, and really, you know, do give them a go. Don't just, uh, you know, have a look at it, think that's a great idea, and then don't act upon it. So the first area he talks about, he, he talks in these in, 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 in elements of 5 by 50, and those 50 are 50 minutes. Um, ask yourself the question right now, how consistently are you sleeping seven to nine hours every night? You know, seven to nine hours. I guess many of us will turn around and say we're not. Uh, there is the old notion of, of uh, you know, I think if you look back to the Margaret, Margaret, Margaret Thatcher, she was renowned for, for, I think, sleeping four hours and being able to work on that. I come from a, you know, a, an armed forces background where I know what, what sleep deprivation can do to you. And trust me, over any prolonged period of time, even just a couple of nights, even one night, it will have a huge detrimental effect if you wake up tired, um, how productive are you in the morning? How productive are you through the day? How productive are you when, you know, towards the end of the day you start to wane because your energy levels aren't there? The, f the fact of the matter is, the reality is that you're not. In many respects, you know, if, uh, if you're going to sleep and only getting, you know, four or five hours and you're waking up, yeah. your, cognitive, your cognition is really low. The, 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 the way in which you can think sharply is just non-existent. You know, in many respects, and, and Brendan puts this really well, you know, you're going to work drunk. Um, so the first step in this is to start thinking about a, you know an additional 50 minutes sleep every day uh, and take that now uh, today tonight and, and go and get 50 minutes more sleep you know add that 50 minutes to what you're doing allow yourself time at the end of the evening to start to wind down and prepare yourself for sleep so don't watch TV right up until you know, you, you aim to go to bed. Don't sit there on your computer or your smartphone until you aim to go to bed. You know, at a period, uh, you know, before you're going to go to bed, 30, 40 minutes before you're going to go to bed, start to wind down. Start to allow your body to, 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 to relax and get prepared to go to sleep. And then go and engender an additional 50 minutes sleep. And see what happens over the coming days and weeks. It will have a dramatic effect. It's, it, it will undoubtedly improve your your productivity. It will undoubtedly improve your, your ability to deal with issues, to, to actually manage yourself, to, to be able to uh, you know, think through processes, problems, whatever the case may be, in a much, much more uh, succinct way. So, first step on the 5 times 50 is every day give yourself 50 minutes more sleep. Bye-bye.